Stacy Hood, Stacy Hood on Twitter, give him a hand. Can't hear. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the live presentation of how to become a social media expert in just five minutes. Brought to you by Tip and Point. My name is Tip. My name is Point. And together we're Tip, Tip and Point. Point. And in the next five minutes, we're going to take you on a journey to show you how you can get businesses to hire you to be their expert. Guru. Or ninja. With no experience whatsoever. <laughs> That's right, Tip. We're going to take everybody here at Ignite through seven easy steps. We're going to tell you how to become a social media expert and take you from geek to chic in just seven easy steps. That's not going to chic. Seven easy steps. That is amazing. But tell us, Point, were you once a geek? I was. Once I didn't know Facebook from a textbook, and I didn't know Twitter from a twatter. <laughs> well, no need to worry, folk. If you're like... Tip, if, you, if you're like point, I'm tip, you can go through these seven easy steps and become a social media expert real fast. But it's okay. Fast. But it, it's okay if you're not an expert because they'll still give you money. That's right, folks. So take us up to step one. Step one is very easy. Call yourself an expert. That's all you have to do. You don't have to have a Twitter account. You don't have to know anything about the web. All you have to do is say it with a lot of confidence, ex experting confidence, actually, we call it. Whoa, wait, 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 point. You're telling me that I don't have to have any experience whatsoever and I can be a social media expert? That's right. All you have to do is remember those easy steps because they'll say it still with us, folks. give you money. That's right. Okay, we're going to say it again real soon. Okay, well, thanks for getting to the point, point, because here's step number two set up an experty Twitter profile. Be sure that you claim on your bio that you're already consulting with small to Fortune 500 companies, and even though you have no clients whatsoever. And find somebody on Twitter who sounds like they know what they're talking about and just retweet their tweets. We recommend Wade Twan. Look at those eyes, folks, and don't forget about setting up a high-end Twitter background, which Tip and Point can design for you just like this hot one for just $1,000. And so it's okay. It's okay. They'll, they'll still give, give you money. money. Step number three. Step number three. I love this one. It's really easy. All you got to do is get an account on every social media platform on the internet. Dig. Delirious. Fig. Dig. I already said that one. Well, how about Mulva? Mulva. How about Bulva? YouTube? MySpace, InnerTube, Steve's Garage, Steve's Garage, Stumble Upon, Vandalay Industries, Dumbledore, and the, and the Bro. Don't forget the about bro. the Bro. I didn't know about that one. Wow. These are really easy steps, folks, but we want to make sure that you know and you follow these correctly because you, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is people are going to hire you even though you have no experience. It's okay. They'll still, still give, give you money. money. That's, that's right. Well, that brings us up to our next step because I'm really jazzed about this one. This is called creating your faux clients. Now, who's going to test us and say, hey, is Nick Saban really endorsing you guys? Look at the picture, people. It's proof. That's a real picture. Living proof. That's a real picture. We have a we bunch of this. other faux clients out there, and you can make up your own. You don't have to have any real clients. People are still going to hire you. You can have somebody that looks like John Lennon. But you know something? It's okay. They're still going to hire you. They're still going to think you're an expert just because you, you call no yourself hair. one. Is it messing up? Let's go to the. Well, we're missing a bunch of good ones. We had Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, we had there Bill Gibson. Go. Oh, look at that. That's one of our top clients right there. He loves us. He uses us all the time. And now we're back to John Lennon. <laughs> don't know what's happening with that, but point, why don't you take oh, us hey, to the hey, next hey, one? Hey, we got to step up to step five. All right, on step five, what we're going to talk about is the untapped market of MySpace. I don't know if you guys are familiar untapped. with this. Untapped. Untapped. What you need to take advantage of as I move back here. I'm not going to do a tap, but. You have to take advantage of all this space that you see in here and make it very flashy, very annoying to the eye. Tell me, Point, is there any ROI for the client in this? No. No ROI whatsoever. But you know something? What is, what, what it is doesn't that? matter. It doesn't matter. You call yourself the expert. You get on here, you get all your geeky friends to, to friend your client's MySpace page. Pretty cool, huh? Show them a lot of flash. They'll it's still okay. give you, you money. money. That's right. Step number six, and out of seven, like bedazzle your client with this a lot of good. lingo. All right, I love this. One of our first clients that we ever had, you might have heard of him. His name was Chris Chablot. Or Chris 
something. That's Chris Brogan. I think. Chris Brogan. Whatever, whatever. We taught him this nifty little saying to tell your clients, your ROI is not matching up with the matrix of your SERPs because your meta tags aren't aggregated with your SEO, so therefore your SOL. Your clients are going to look at you totally confused, but it's okay. They'll, They'll still, still give, give you money. money. That's right, because you're the expert. Last step. This is the last step, and it's my favorite because you're a social media douchebag. The client won't listen to you. The client is stupid. What do They're they know? Dumb. Don't listen to them. We're the experts. That's right. We call ourselves the expert. It's Just very important that you get a year contract signed, paid in full. So what you can do is basically take the money and run. That's right. You don't have to update your Twitter profile, your Facebook profile. Have a cheesy website that is so out of date. It's okay because you're the expert. All you got to do is call yourself them. Is it dishonest? Like sure this it's dishonest. But you're not really an expert. You're just calling yourself one. But you know what? It's okay. They'll, They'll still, still give you money. That's right. Thank you so much, folks. Tipping point. Tipping point. Tip point. We love you. Thank you, Birmingham. Good night.